Hello, I'm Professor Mohamed Kadra and I'm pleased to present you this video on laparoscopic or keyhole removal of the kidney. The aim of this video is to help you understand the operation, its main side effects and to prepare you better for your upcoming procedure. This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the information leaflets you've already been provided. The procedure involves the removal of the kidney through keyhole incisions using a telescope and operating instruments. The adrenal gland may also be removed. One incision will then need to be enlarged to remove the entire kidney. You'll usually be admitted to hospital on the same day as your surgery. Please make sure you inform us before the operation of any blood thinning medications or conditions that may affect how we perform the procedure and how you heal after the procedure. A full general anaesthetic is normally used and you'll be asleep throughout the procedure. If you have any allergies, be sure to let the anaesthetist know. You should be aware that there is a chance that your procedure may need to be converted to an open operation. You'll usually be given an injection of antibiotics before the procedure, after you've been checked for any allergies. During the operation, the kidney is freed from its surrounding fat through several keyhole incisions and is then put into a bag which will be removed by enlarging one of the keyhole incisions. A bladder catheter is normally inserted during the procedure to monitor your urine output and sometimes we may place a drain. After the procedure you'll wake up in the recovery room. You should not have a lot of pain but do let the nursing staff know if you're in any discomfort. You'll be given fluids to drink at an early stage after the procedure and you'll be encouraged to mobilise as soon as you're comfortable to prevent clots happening in your legs. The catheter is normally removed within the next couple of days. Your average stay in hospital is about four to five days. Most procedures have side effects, and these range from very common ones to more rare occurrences. But in most cases, patients go through the procedure without any serious side effects. The side effects that are related to removing the kidney are temporary pain in the tip of your shoulder, temporary bloating of your tummy, occasionally, you can get bleeding, infection, pain, or even hernia of the incision needing further treatment. During the procedure itself, sometimes, whether recognized or unrecognized, injury can happen to organs, blood vessels around the kidney, and this may require conversion to an open operation. Bleeding needing conversion to open surgery or blood transfusion Entry into lung cavities needing insertion of a temporary drain can happen and sometimes the pathology can turn out not to be a cancer. There's no way of knowing this beforehand. Dialysis may be needed to stabilize your kidney function if the other kidney functions poorly. Generic side effects which relate to having any operations include anesthetic or cardiovascular problems possibly requiring intensive care admission, including chest infection, pulmonary embolus, stroke, deep venous thrombosis, heart attack, or even death. These are very rare. Hospital-acquired infections occur in about 1% of cases. During your recovery, you may get some discomfort from the small incisions in your abdomen, but this can normally resolve itself within a few days. All the wounds are closed with absorbable stitches which do not require removal. It will take 10 to 14 days to recover fully from the procedure and most people can return to work within two to four weeks. After you're home, please contact our rooms to make an appointment within a week to 10 days after your surgery. This will allow us to discuss the biopsy results and determine if any other treatment is necessary. If you develop a temperature, increased redness, throbbing or drainage at the site of any of the wounds, please contact me or the GP or at worst case the emergency department of the nearest hospital. Hopefully this video has presented you with an overview of the procedure. You will have already received the patient information booklet and we've had discussions during our consultations. If you have any questions about any of the contents of this video or the information sheets you've received, then please don't hesitate to contact the practice 
or to make another appointment before your operation.